At the 63rd IAA in Frankfurt, Volkswagen took the wraps off a real explosive display of premieres. One of the highlights, a further study of the small car, the UP, this one called the E-UP, a study of the perfect urban car with electric power. Whether and when the E-UP will make final production is still unclear. VW also proves it's in the final stretch of the race to produce a one-liter car with this study called the L1, a car weighing less than 500 kilos with a consumption of 1.38 liters of diesel per 100 kilometers. Production start not to be before 2013. The Passat TSI EcoFuel is powered by natural gas and is already on the market. E-technology is only part of what we have to extend the product range. We also have LNG cars on the market. Not too long from now, we'll have some hybrids. We have diesel cars, we have all versions, and of course we are not only working on e-cars, but also on other hybrid models, as well as fuel cells and completely different drive technologies. Volkswagen will try to be wherever it is important to be. Also making its world debut, the Golf R. With 270 horsepower, it's the strongest production Golf of all times. In 5.7 seconds, it sprints from rest to 100. Top speed is limited to 250 kilometers per hour. Other crowd stoppers at the VW stand are the R-line versions of the Passat CC and the Golf. The multi-van is one more world premiere VW has up its sleeve in Frankfurt. The new models help bring in a new era for the commercial vehicles. The facelift impresses not only due to its looks, but also thanks to the ecological changes to the technology. The Polo is now also offered as a two-door model. The window line at the back and the C-pillar on is a bit steeper. For model year 2010, the VW Golf Variant Station Wagon is treated to the modern nose of the Golf 6. The rear section, for the most part, is unchanged. <laughs>